Hey, what's going on everyone? This is iReviews back with another video and today we're talking about iOS 16 settings. Now with the release of iOS 16, new software, of course, that come new settings as well. And there are some really important new settings that Apple has added to iOS 16 that I urge every iOS 16 user to check on their device and make sure you have them configured the right way or just know what you're doing with your device because you might put your data and your privacy on jeopardy by just leaving these settings unattended and of course unconfigured the right way. Before we get into all that, just want to ask you guys for a really quick favor. Most of you guys that watch my videos are currently not subscribed to the channel. So if you're watching the videos, you enjoy them, you want to see more, and you're not subscribed, please make sure to consider doing so because it helps out a lot. And now let's get started with the first setting. So head on to settings and then go to photos. When you go to photos, make sure you scroll all the way down and you will find here show featured content. Now what this does leaving this enabled, it will basically allow photos and memories to automatically appear on device in places such as for you and search in photos and widgets. So your photos will basically just automatically be displayed on different widgets that you might have on suggestions and things like that. So of course you might have their photos that you want, don't want to actually share with the show featured content here. So make sure to go ahead and disable this so you know none of your photos or memories will be shared automatically and appear in places like widgets, which of course is a place on your home screen which can easily be seen by someone else. So if you just want to protect your privacy and your photos, make sure you have this disabled. Next we're moving to focus. Now with iOS 16, Apple has added some really cool new options to the focus mode. Now one of them is really important. Go to focus here and then go to focus status. Now when you go here, you will have the chance to actually enable or disable share focus status. Basically you're talking to someone in iMessage for example, they will know which focus status you have enabled. Now here you can decide which one of them you want to share. So if you enable it here, it will be enabled for all of the different focus modes that you might have on your device, but you can of course go ahead and just disable any one of them that you don't want to share. So let's say you want to know, you want to let someone know when you're on the do not disturb mode, but you don't want to, to let someone know when you're like on other things like gaming, for example. So you just go ahead and disable it from here. Moving on to some really important settings that Apple has added with iOS 16. Head on to settings, privacy and security. Make sure you scroll all the way down here and then you will have safety check. Now here we have two different settings. One of them is called emergency reset. Now of course, currently you don't have to do anything here. You just need to take a look at these settings and know that you have them here and what they do. So basically emergency reset will immediately reset access for all people and apps and review your account security. So if you think just maybe your data or anything has been jeopardized, you tap right here and everything will be reset to their default. So let me just go here. So once you enter here, of course, you will need to use your face ID or passcode. You will have a much better explanation here of what this feature doing. And of course, you can start the emergency reset directly from here. So people and apps, account security and emergency contacts, everything will be reset. And just underneath it, you will have manage sharing and access. So customize which people and apps can have access to your information. Did you know which people and which apps have access to your information? If you don't know that, you can go ahead and go to this setting. And from here, you can actually review the people and apps that have access to your stuff. So tap on continue here and you will see everything right here. So we'll have people, information, you can go between different stages here and actually just check everything on your device and see which people and apps have access to your personal things. Another setting you should know about on iOS 16 is called lockdown mode. This one is really interesting as well. It can be found by going to settings, privacy and security. Just scroll all the way down. You will find lockdown mode here. Now he will have an explanation of what this does. So it says that lockdown mode is an extreme optional protection that should only be used if you believe that you are a target of a like sci uh, sophisticated cyber attack 
if you think that's happening to you, you can actually turn this on. It will basically turn your iPhone into the lockdown mode. So when in lockdown mode, it will not function as to typically it does. And you can see right here it says apps, websites, and features will be strictly limited for security and some experiences will be completely unavailable. So basically it will turn your iPhone into a completely different mode in order to save your data and of course protect your privacy. A setting that you should check and make sure that you have turned on if you have one of the newer iPhones is found under emergency and SOS. If you go here, you will have a new option that has been added with iOS 16 and of course only on the newer iPhones, it says call after severe crash. So basically your iPhone will now detect if you have been on a car crash and will call the emergency SOS. So make sure you have this always turned on. It is really, really important. Another thing you should do on iOS 16 is make sure that you have security updates enabled all the time. Now, of course, with new software updates and new releases, especially bigger ones, there are always different bugs and maybe even like security bugs that are being patched all the time. So you need to have those updated. Make sure you go to settings, go to general and go to software update, go to automatic updates. Now, a lot of people will just neglect updates and maybe update like a month or two later or something like that. But you can actually just enable automatic updates for security responses and system files right here. So you don't have to bother about that. It will be updated automatically. All the security stuff will be updated automatically in the background, even though you might not update your device. So it will actually separate the security updates from the iOS version itself. So you can have an older iOS version, but still get all the security updates. And for the last three settings, we have some older settings that have been here before, but they are really important. First of all, go to privacy and security, go to tracking, and here we'll have a list of apps that might track you. Of course, if you have these turned off, this means that these apps have requested to actually track you, but you have declined. You might have allowed some app by mistake. Make sure you go ahead and check this. And then of course you can choose to turn them on or off from here. Under your Apple ID, go to password and security and right here we'll find account recovery. This is also really important. You need to configure this and add a recovery contact. Now what this will do is of course help you recover your, your account if you have forgotten your passcode or maybe you don't have a phone number or the emails, things, things like that. Things can always be recovered through a recovery contact. So you make sure you go ahead and add one from here. And last but not least is find my phone. This is really, really important. So when you go to your Apple ID to go to find my, you might have seen this right here, it says on, but if you tab there, we'll have three different options. So you will have find my phone and then we, we have find my network and send last location. Make sure you have all of these turned on. These are really important. So you can see the find my network will basically locate your iPhone, even though it might be offline in the power reserve mode and of course after power off. So this is very, very important and send last location will automatically send the last location of the iPhone to Apple when the battery is crucially low. So make sure you always have all of these three options turned on. So that is it for this video, guys. These are 10 iOS 16 settings that I suggest every iOS 16 user should check on their device right now. Thank you guys for watching the video. That's it for this one. Hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you on the next video.